What's up guys, this is Eric. This time I came across this uh, roof uh, with tiles. The guy had uh, uh, many leaks all over the, the house where they installed the tile roof. And he told me to remove the roof and install new shingles. Uh, the big problem right here is because the guys, whoever installed the roof, they use wood buttons and they didn't cut it in half. You're supposed to cut them in half. When you uh, when you install the wood battens that are uh, attached to the roof, cutting in four feet and then uh, attach them. Also, when you're doing a tile reset, remember to cover all the way to the eave. These guys they just cover around the solar panels and they left the, all the eave exposed. So all the all the water run over the years and rotten all the all the starter board around the you know underneath the uh, below the. Uh, the solar panels and uh, the guys couldn't handle it anymore and the, the problem is the roof is it's not under warranty anymore so he had to pay for a new roof he told me to remove all the tiles remember uh, uh, the wood battens they're not they don't supposed to be used on uh, roofs that are 4 and 12 also these guys they mounted the wood battens on top of the of the tile plane you never do that because then you trap the water and the water runs to the side so always just leave it to the edge of the the valley metal remember to cut the wood buttons in half in half don't use the eight, eight footers of wood buttons because then you're gonna have problems also do not install wood, bat, uh, wood buttons on roof that are less than 4 and 12 unless like 6 and 12 and up yes you do need them but not on a roof like this, you know, the wood battens and you know, the, that I set back to the roof because it traps the water, so a lot of roofers don't have the knowledge, I mean, they just go there and install roofs and they don't even read a fucking book or, you know, the ICBO report, you know, how so, it's supposed to be done, they just put battens all over. So right here I have to remove the uh, solar panels and uh, uh, replace the damage wood, gas inspection. Then install a new roof. Also, uh, the guy has a problem on the flat roof that I show you. Um, the, uh, right here, this this roof it's all damaged. I told him you need to replace it. The guy doesn't have any any funds to replace it. He, he told me, "What can you do?" I told him I can put two uh, coats of the silicone coating. Before I did that, I, I, I sealed all the edge with elastomeric uh, roof cement to prevent any water penetration on the edge before I apply the silicone. So before you apply any silicone, wash the, uh, power wash the roof completely so it's free of the bleed. Do not apply the silicone if it's not perfectly washed. So one day prior to this, I, I washed the, uh, the roof and I let it dry and this is day two when I came back and uh, applied the, uh, the uh, white mastic around the edge. And then we're gonna apply two layers of the silicone coating uh, on top of the flat roof because it's real damage, you know. It's a hot mud roof, so it's still damage. Also, um, I apply um, white mastic around the, the existing uh, pipe flashing, you know, this is a T-tap. Uh, I don't use, I'm, a, I'm not a big fan of the black mastic because it cracks. And this silicone, the white silicone, I mean the white um, elastomeric mastic, it doesn't crack. It just, it shrinks a little bit, but it doesn't crack. So it's better than, way better than the black mastic. So I don't use black mastic unless to put it under shingles or under edge metal or something, you know, somewhere it's gonna be hidden. But I'm not exposed to the sunlight because it, you know, it doesn't, it doesn't last too long, so. This is how I did it around pipes, you know, all the penetrations before I, I put the coat in. This is how it's uh, looking right now. This is the second coat. Hey, you? Notice how we put the second coat and it looks whiter. So we put two coats of the silicone coating. Uh, and this is how the roof looks after we install the solar panels back and everything switch, you know, turn on the solar panels and everything worked. I put a, made a cricket to the fireplace, put new flashing, and painted all my pipes. And uh, this is how the uh, flat roof looks. And hopefully you like it. Subscribe, guys. Thank you for watching.